everybody, it's Silver Kit, and welcome back to Dragonfire 3 Beyond! And today is going to be a little bit of a different video, because ever since Dragonfire 3 Beyond came out, there have been a few issues. Mostly around flying, and the dragons not being able to fly. Now, Spectral Studios have acknowledged this problem, and they are implementing a fix for it, but in the meantime, there is something that we can do. So today, I am going to go through and maybe show you a few things about the dragons that you might not know, or that could be very helpful. Starting with how to fly. So here I have my coal horn, Rocky, and I play on PC, which until recently had no issues with the flying mechanisms. However, recently, if I get on Rocky and try to fly, I can't do it. I am now unable to fly. However, there is a way to fix the flying glitch. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring up your chat box. And the command that you want to type in is forward slash function space root forward slash class forward slash mpip. And then you hit enter, and hopefully with that, you should be able to fly. There we go. And we're flying. So hopefully that will give you the ability to fly your dragons around now. Though I believe you are going to have to type in this command every time you log in. Until at least a patch is implemented. Again, that command is slash function space root slash class slash mpip. And I will leave it right up there if you want to screenshot it. And hopefully that'll fix your flying problems and you'll be able to fly your dragons. Now there are a couple more things about your dragons that you might not know. So for example, if my dragon is standing and I dismount it, he's just going to wander off. He's not going to stay... He's going to leave, he's going to wander off, and I'm going to have to chase him down. <laughs> Come here. Come here, Rocky. Now there are a couple ways to mitigate this. You can, of course, put them on lead and then tie them to things, but I don't want to do that every single time I dismount. However, what you can do is if you crouch and then you click on your dragon. Eh, Rocky, 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 come back. Rocky, come back. <laughs> Aha, there you go. He will sit. So you want to crouch and then right click on your dragon and that should make them sit. To get them to stand, you just do the same thing. You crouch and you right click on them and then they should walk away. Oh, I'm sorry, it's left click on them. Crouch and then left click your dragon and that should get him to sit and stand. And then hopefully he won't wander off. Now the dragons all have a breath attack and to get your dragon to fire their breath attack, you press the right click button and that should cause him to fire his breath attack. Very helpful if you're kind of surrounded by mobs. Your dragons will also fight with you against other mobs, which can be very powerful. But then you have to be careful because they will just wander off again. They will not fight if they are sitting. So remember that your dragon will not fight with you if it's in a sit. And the last thing I wanted to touch on is kind of the flying mechanics. So when you're on your dragon, for me, I find it easiest to be in third person mode. That way you can see and you can see what your dragon is doing. So to fly, press the spacebar and then look up. Try to remember to look up. Just like this. It's a little bit confusing at first. It takes some practice. But then when you're up here, you can kind of get a good eye of things and where you're going. If you press the spacebar in flight, your dragon will kind of put on a burst of speed. If you time it right. For me, I find it most useful to kind of climb up, get a good bird's eye view of things, and then decide where I'm going to go. Which is back home right now. Oh, there, oh, ah, oh. <laughs> like I said, it's a little bit tricky. Okay, let's try this again. Coming in for landing, just like that. And of course, now I crouch and I left click to make him sit and stay put. <laughs> and that is the basics of dragon handling. I know a lot of people have been having issues with the flying. I hope that helps a little bit. If this video was helpful for you, please be sure to give it a like. And if you have any bugs or glitches to report, be sure to contact Spectral Studios. I know that they are working hard on a patch for the flying issue. But thank you all so much for watching, and the dragons and I will see you in the next one. Bye!